Oh, so I should start by explaining why it's so dark in here. It's weird. Because I'm in my car right now. Because my all my family is in the house. And they're ridiculous. And they're just too loud. I tried to record. It's impossible. So I came in here. So this is the steering wheel. And as you can see, I'm still in my my suit. The wedding was yesterday, but it was a little uh, a little crazy. I've been recovering today, so I haven't changed. I'm pretty dirty. Um, I just don't want the wedding to end. Really, so fun. Uh, so when I first looked up um, my name, I, I typed in Donnie Payne. See what comes up. Basically, I don't. I don't think anything that has to do with me even comes up until like the second page. So, like the only stuff that I saw um, that came up for Donnie Payne was like stuff when I played football, like for De La Salle in high school. It was like one thing is like. Uh, old training camp thing, like old Nike camp, another thing is just like article about us, like winning the national championship, article about us losing the streak, um, but that's about it, just like, you know, years ago, it's been like seven years ago for me, um, nothing, nothing up to date at all, which, which I was kind of surprised, but I mean, I don't, I don't think I actually do do much I guess to be on the internet that I don't post myself but besides that there's like there's a writer I guess he a guy wrote episodes for the Simpsons and Thor he co-wrote Thor like that um and then the only other memorable one it's not really funny because it's an old guy missing named Donnie Payne, but when I saw it, like, it was just really weird to see, like, it'd be a flyer say, Missing Donnie Payne. And it'd be, like, <laughs> this old white guy and his dog, and they would talk about Donnie and how he always loved his dog. I mean, it's, it's kind of sad that he went missing. Just so, It's just weird to see him, someone with my name. <laughs> and then, his dog. When I actually typed in dpain underscore 32, I get, like, all the hits on the first, second page. Well, maybe not second page. But all the hits on the first page are all stuff associated with me. It's, like, my Twitter, my YouTube, my... I don't think my Tumblr's made it. Um, Twitter, YouTube, my Facebook... My Go Animate, where I make weird little cartoons. So, I wasn't conscious of that I was making an e-portfolio under the pseudonym, or pseudonym, I don't know how to say that word, of dpain underscore 32. I just always picked it as my name since like high school, just because I was like my football number and... Donnie Payne is usually taken by the time I'm signing up for a website. So, me, I unknowingly made a pretty good, like, reflection of myself uh, under the name dpain underscore 32. But it's all, like, f stupid stuff I've done, like, stupid videos, stupid, like, t-shirts I've created online, like, if you want to know the actual me, it's good, look up dpain underscore 32. But I wouldn't want anyone to, um, like, who my future employer, <laughs> this sounds bad, but I wouldn't want the future employer to know the actual me. <laughs> at least not at first, you gotta give it in doses, because maybe all at once, I might seem like a crazy person. Or just like, way too, not weird, I would say quirky. Everyone's kind of weird, but I mean, I would say quirky. Um, so, after looking at that, I decided that I have kind of like a, I'm going to kind of have, I want two profiles, I want the actual me, what I would want like 
friends or something if they were to look me up, or just anyone that actually knows me on a personal level, to look up dpain underscore thirty two. That that's my pro that's my e profile I would say. But now I'm in the process of making an a one for I guess professional purposes. And the only real step I've taken towards that was I made a LinkedIn account. I think I've added some friends. Um, but I've I've been out of town, so I haven't honestly haven't done m much to to for, to I guess bolster my my professional portfolio because I don't want to just rush into it since it's like once it's there, it's kind of there, and I don't. I don't want to make a, I guess, stupid change just because, like, oh, I want to turn the assignment in. But I do have plans to make it better, I would say. So one thing I thought about to, like, boost my professional portfolio was maybe making a different blog that, I don't know. I'm still kind of thinking about it because I don't know if it like actually makes sense. But a blog that where I would just put all the stuff professionally or just you know service stuff that I do, just post like pictures and stuff like that on it. Because besides that, I don't think I I don't know do anything worth while for employers to want to see. I don't know. I don't. Hang on, now it makes me feel like I do nothing of importance, but I don't know. I don't want to think they. I don't think they want to know how much I drink. Like I could do. I could drink a beer in two point five seconds. Hire me, sir. I know my, my. I'm majoring in civil engineering, but you didn't really say to talk about find someone who has a job that you're more most likely going to do. So, I don't a civil engineering with a good online presence sounded really boring. I try to actually look them up. And basically the only thing was like if someone designed a really famous building, they'd have like a side note by their name like civil engineer. It was kind of always the architect of buildings or something that got uh that had more of the presence online. Um but what I want to do is I want to rap. I can't do it, but I want to be a rapper. So I looked up a rapper who has uh, the best online presence I know. It's Lil B, Bass God, Swag, Tastic, Voyage. Um, and yeah, so he had the best online presence that I saw. You type Lil B in and. He's like uh, everywhere, basically. You type in his name. He's like the only person named Lil B for like five, ten pages, probably. He has like a million songs, and he's not even good. But he says swag a lot, um, and he just names his songs outrageous things. But his beats kind of slap, so I like it a little bit. A little bit. It's like a guilty pleasure. Um, so, yeah. I like it a little bit. What, I, oh, what is this guy doing? Alright, so... I'm not from the best town at all. This guy's looking real pretty creepy over here. If he's walking up to my car, this is going to end up being like the Blair Witch Project. Crap. Oh. Alright. Never mind. He's turned. Alright, we're good. Um... Yeah. Swag. Okay. <clears throat> so I almost forgot to talk about the Eva and Franco book. So I'm in my bathroom now. I'm going to try to make it short and sweet because people are sleeping. I don't want to wake them up. It reminded me of the last reading actually a little bit. When, um... I think it was... Franco says something. It's in the little video clip that, uh... Glenn posted it but um, Franco says that 
av- like the Second Life avatars are more real um, than people in real life, which I think is really true because sometimes you're free to express yourself. So maybe someone that feels like they would love to be outgoing can be that in Second Life and any other kind of kind of person. And also the same with people who get on Second Life and just try to, like, to be dickheads. They're probably tired of always having to be nice, you know? So they get to do be dickhead a little bit. But, I don't know. That's basically it. I, I felt like I had thought about the reading before I had actually done it, so I don't feel like there's much new, much new information. All right, so that's about it. The clapper. <laughs> the clapper sounds like uh, a new hip way to talk about STDs. Oh, so you've heard? She got the clapper. Oh, like oh, good for her. Good for her.